Hi babes, so I have five mini journals to share and that will be listed in my Etsy shop by the end of the day today. So let's get started. So I have three that have coffee dyed paper and two that does not. Okay, so I'm going to get started with the first one here. Little Christmas one. I totally, oh, sorry. I didn't fix it up nice. It's my second time doing this video <laughs> because my battery died in the middle of the video. Um, and I forgot to fix it, but there's a little charm. There, a little um, tree charm here. And then here's the back. So I'm just gonna slide this off. We'll get started hopefully I can stay in frame so there is a pocket here and a pocket here really really simple I'm gonna go kind of fast because I have five so this is my mind's eye um, I don't remember the name of this collection, but I found it. Little six by six pad that apparently I had never used. So I was like, oh, well, I didn't use a lot of it. Um, so I was like, oh, let me make a little journal with it. So a little tag here with some fibers. Some coffee dyed paper here. Sorry about the, the dog barking next door. Poor dog. I feel like they don't take him outside enough. And he just sits by the door and just barks. Poor thing. So it's a little postcard. So really cute simple journal if you ever want to try a December daily and you don't want to go big this is like you can't get any more simple than this so pocket here and pocket here and as with all my journals they will come with extra little journal cards and bits and stuff to decorate your um, your journal further so then I have this one and it has a little little gem charm. Hopefully my camera will focus. Uh, I don't know if it's focusing or not, but anyway. <laughs> so there's the back. So I'm just gonna slide this off. So we have the same pockets here and here seriously okay, there we go really cute collection this um had a sheet of little little cut apart so I will have those in the goodie bag so you can add them to your journal if you wish Really simple, simple little. Another little cutout, cutout right here. And the back has a pocket. Two pockets. I'm sorry. 
journal number two. Journal number three has a wood grain and some twine tied around, wrapped around. Um, this one is very neutral, so it has tons of room to journal um, because of the neutral papers. So there's the back. Funny, I didn't do any lace on any of the spines of any of them, <laughs> which is usually is very unusual for me. So there is a pocket here, pocket here, so there's lots of um, ledger paper in here, very light papers um, in this collection. So you can journal right on top of the ledger paper. It's very neutral, so it could be um, for male or female. Envelope I clipped there. And then here's the back. Two pockets as well. So I'm working on some um, standard size journals. I hope to have those done um, hopefully by, what's today? Today is Tuesday. Hopefully before the weekend is out, I hope to have those done and listed. Um, so this one has no coffee dye paper. It has a little pink gem here, a little light pink ribbon. There's the back. Yeah, so I'm working on getting those done. They already prepped. I just have to work on those. So here we have a pocket here. This um, paper collection also came with a lot of little cut apart so you will get a lot of little cut aparts with these as well some journal paper from my old journal that I cut down Use my nails if they're dark. I was coffee dyeing yesterday. I actually have to finish today. So I have a little envelope. This could be used as a little tuck spot. And um, the envelope flips up so you can write on there. Some more little cut aparts. I added this little mason jar here and you can use it as a tuck spot. really simple cute little journal I really wish I could write in something so small but I, I can't my handwriting is way too big <laughs> but they are so cute I don't know maybe one day I'll try it oh maybe one day I'll make myself one in and, and try it and see here's the back it's a little um, pocket here and a pocket here so that is journal number four and last but not least we have journal number five okay so this one has a charm and it says love hopefully my camera is focusing there's the back this is an old Webster's pages um, that I had in my stash forever. It's really old. Webster's pages, I don't know, they don't make 
people like they used to. So anyway, I'm sorry. I, I just felt like saying that. So there's a pocket here. I have a bunch of these little cards left over. I had to trim them a tiny, tiny bit so they would fit, but it didn't take away from the design. So you still have room to um, write on there. Let's see if I can get this one out. So there's another little pocket here. Webster's Pages used to be like my favorite um, paper collection back in the day because their papers were so beautiful. And um, that's why I end up hoarding so much of it. And then I don't know. I haven't found any paper by them that I love as much as the old papers. Um, so, yeah, kind of sad. But there's a little envelope I clipped on there. So I decided to use up these papers. These six by six, I don't own a lot of six by six paper because I didn't really use a lot of 6x6, six six, but um, what I did have, I they're like perfect for these little journals. So I'm, I'm gonna have to start buying 6x6. Six six. It's another little journal card. And I think I've said this before, I don't know if I did, because this is my second time recording this, but as with all my journals, they come with additional journal cards and whatnot to add on to um, your journal. So that is it. That is my five um, mini journals. Um, I will link them down below in the description. So I usually you could figure it out, but this one I will probably call love since it has the love charm. And this one I will probably call hearts. Um, this one will probably be wood grain or story because of the charm. And then this one, of course, Christmas. And then this one, I will put green floral, okay? So if you're interested, you will find the listings down below. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you all for your support, whether it be shopping in my store or just the sweet comments. I so appreciate you guys so very much. Until next time, have a great day. Bye.